Hey fairy friends, Matrine here, and welcome back to Midnight Memes. If you've ever seen the legendary card Doomgate, Door to Oblivion, you've probably wondered who Ostrogoth is. Well, he's an elusive fellow, not even visible on the Feria Hub. But I did find him on Instagram, and here's his latest photo. Long story short, Ostrogoth has four hands, each one of them holding an orb of Feria, and he's hiding in plain sight. That's right, friends. Every time you play a match of Feria, Ostrogoth is stretching his hands to fill each of the four wells on board. Sound crazy? Well, why else would his ability be all Feria wells are empty? Because Ostrogoth is the Feria wells. Okay, now I know this is a lot to process, so let's get to our game plan. Our deck is built with the sole purpose of summoning multiple Ostrogoths using Aurora's creation. Will we break the game, or will the game break us? Join me as we bring the hands of Oblivion against Path to Face Rush. Alright, we are hopping into a match with our Hands of Ostrogoth deck. Uh, bit of a lag there. Going up against Jessica. We are going to keep Doomgate because that's what we're trying to do here. That is all we're trying to do. And this looks like a great starting hand. We can easily uh, sacrifice Village Elder and Kaleem's Fog were uh, through that fire gate. Um, you know, they're just... I'm sure they're great people, but um, we, we have certain priorities here. Um, and that's summoning up Ostrogoth uh, multiple times. Uh, which could be problematic because we're going up against Red Rush, it seems like. Uh, right, let's get our Doomgate going uh, for what it's worth. I just want to put it to the left there. Uh, so we'll have a straight path uh, when we do summon Ostrogoth up to their, our opponent's orb. Village Elder, perfect. We got some uh, defensive minion there uh, in our Imperial Guard. And I apologize for calling it minion. It is creature. Uh, Kaleem's Follower, yeah, you know, let's just uh, get him there so that if our opponent double neutrals again, we can... Uh... Oh, all right, it's going to be a desert. Interesting. We can build up our Doomgate yet again this turn. Probably on the follower, but I do want to I do want to block our opponent's uh, path, and I want to prevent him from uh, putting lands in front of our Doomgate. Roar's crew. All right, we got that for our later game. Uh, so I think Water Elemental just a block, and then a, a lake off to the left, kind of funnel our opponent towards our Imperial Guard, hopefully. And I'll keep our Imperial Guard at the well on the right so it can collect. Uh, and the next turn, well, let's see what he drops first. Let's see what our opponent... Uh, double Cyphers? Alright, if you want to use them, go ahead. We have plenty better targets than that. Um, okay. I do want to step on that mountain, definitely. Uh, but we're going to make a mountain of our own, I think, to drop our Reveler. And then do I want the Reveler to, to collect, and then I... Or do I just want a sec, and then Kaleem's Follower to go in front of our orb? I think I want to sacrifice the... Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's sacrifice the follower uh, so we can get some great architect. Uh, we can drop a mountain next turn and pump up our Doomgate even more. A forest. All right, so this is some kind of path to yeah path to paradise right there. Uh oh, don't don't put it there. Leave our Doomgate alone. Leave it alone. You do no 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 Wind Soldier five. Don't do it. No. Our hopes and dreams. Ostrogoth, flame burst. You can't soldier in it. And when soldier's gone, okay, okay, we're still in this. We have an architect. We have an architect. Um. Uh, Deathwish Ghoul can help us. Uh, sure, we can we can get our Doomgate up pretty substantially this turn. We have a collector now with the architects on that side, boosting. And I do want to sacrifice the death with death wish ghoul because he wants to die it's in his name uh he, he does not have a good home life uh 
the Imperial Guard. Uh, I wanted to collect. Uh, that might have been a mistake. Standing on that. Uh, this is tricky. We have Cypher's Wrath for some of his cheap uh, drops, which is perfect. Uh, I don't. I don't care about the ping damage there, unless he's running Zealous Crusaders, um, which we would not be able to deal with easily. Uh, beautiful. We have all our Cypher's Rats, and we can draw for a Reveler, which we can, uh, who do we want to sacrifice? The Reveler or the Architect? I guess I'll do the Architect. I, and we get another one. Beautiful. Alright, we, we're, this is, this is exciting. Our opponent has three Feria, they'll have six next turn, so they, they can drop some, uh, pressure on board if they wanted to. Drawing, uh, right, Soul Drain? Uh, sure. That's fine. That is fine with me. Vil's Elder, another great pickup. Great sacrificial target. Uh, I think I want to step on that desert because I don't want any more of that Wind Soldier shenanigans uh, coming into our Doom Gate. Village Elder has led a long, full life, and it's his time to go. Imperial Guards. Beautiful. This is really a, a great way to uh, get us where we want to be. I think I want to drop that other one, just so we have some... Um... All right, so our opponent really can't touch us. Uh, I don't care about our opponent touching face. I care about our opponent, our opponent hitting our Doom Gate again. All right, seven, uh, seven Feria, drawing, and nothing. Beautiful, because we're just flooding the board with our cheap creatures. Uh, Want to collect again? This is it. There <laughs> is Ostrogoth. All right, and we have enough. Uh, oh, we're gonna need another uh, lake. Totally fine. And Roar's creation. Beautiful, beautiful. And I just want to step on all of our opponent's lands, um, and then uh, let's check out. Oh no 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 no! That is my mistake. I was so excited to summon Ostroth, uh that I forgot it had haste. Ah uh, boy. Well, we have another Ostroth. Um. Path of Paradise, uh, just clearing one of our Imperial Guards, maybe? I don't know what... Flash Salmon for some chip damage, but... Oh, or just clearing that. You still don't have any path to get to our face. And we have Ostrioth. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, Crystal Flower is a bummer, but... Our opponent has limited resources. They don't have access to any fairy wells. They're still drawing for answers. Don't seem to have anything. Shuffling the hand fast. And I think we can, uh... uh yeah, we can clear that with Cyber's Wrath. I mean, we don't even need to. Alright, he cleared it there. Um, Death Wish... Alright, so we have our Ostrogoth. I think we just want to build up for, um... Uh, Build up our fairy so that we can play it next turn. And, uh... You know, I do want to get some collectors on board, though. And, or potential defenders. We can still... We should still be able to, uh... Summon Ostrogoth, our second Ostrogoth, next turn because of Deathwish Ghoul's last words ability. There, so we're getting... That's fine, go ahead. Um, Kaleem's Follower, I don't really care about at all because we now have nine feria and we are all right so we need three deserts to summon an ostrogoth from hand oh that animation is cool you know I, we didn't see the animation the first time let's all right let's break open our second ostrogoth we need two on board this is beautiful um, 
let's just cover up there. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I didn't see the fairy was empty though. Maybe that's a glitch. Um, let me know if you've ever summoned Ostrogoth. Um, I, I'd love to hear your experiences. That was a blast. I absolutely enjoyed it. Against a rush deck too. Who would have thought? So uh, take care. Uh, good luck and have fun.